hello everyone today i want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 3 to the power of 11 plus 9 to the power of 11 plus 27 to the power of 11 divided by 27 to the power of 11 minus 1 so here in order to simplify this uh, expression uh, first we need to rewrite these terms as in this form uh, so first we have this is 3 to the power of 11 plus we write this 9 as 3 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is 11 plus we write 27 as 3 multiplied by uh, 9 and its whole power is 11 and it is divided by here you have 27 and we write this 27 as uh, uh, 3 cubed and its whole power is 11 and minus 1 so uh, now here in the next step uh, you know about that if you have uh, in the base if you have two numbers are multiplied by each other so that we can apply the exponent separately on both of these values so that uh, we write this term this equation this expression as 3 to the power of 11 plus here we uh, apply this exponent on both of these terms and it will be written as 3 to the power of 11 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11 and plus from here we have uh, this is 3 to the power of 11 multiplied by 9 to the power of 11 and it is divided by uh, here uh, we use the exponent law and we interchange these two exponents and it will be written as 3 to the power of 11 and its whole cubed and minus in the denominator here we write this 1 as 1 cubed so uh, now here in the next step uh, if you focus in the denominator in the numerator term you see here we have 3 to the power of 11 is uh, lies each of these terms so that we will take common 3 to the power of 11 and after taking this common we get the remaining values are here we get 1 plus here we get 3 to the power of 11 plus here we get 9 to the power of 11 and it is divided by in the denominator we apply here the nice cubic formula you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to uh, a minus b times of uh, a square so here our a is 3 to the power of 11 square and plus a b so a is 3 to the power of 11 and b is 1 and plus b square so b is 1 square and now further in the next step we need more simplifications uh, and we uh, rewrite this equation as this is 3 to the power of 11 into 1 plus 3 to the power of 11 plus we write this 9 as 3 square and its whole power is 11 and it is divided by uh, this is 3 to the power of 11 minus 1 into uh, here we have this is uh, 3 to the power of 11 square uh, so we write this 3 to the power of 11 square we here we interchange these two exponents and it will be written as first we write this 1 square and 1 square is equals to 1 plus 3 times of 11 multiplied by 1 equals to 3 to the power of 11 and here we interchange these two exponents and it will be written as 3 square and its whole power is 11 now you see here uh, from numerator and denominator we have this is the our uh, same term so that we cancelled uh, this whole term and after cancellation of these terms we will get here the remaining values are 3 to the power of 11 divided by 3 to the power of 11 minus 1 and now here in the next step we need uh, to uh, simplify this expression so in order to simplification of this expression first we need to find the value of 3 to the power of 11 so here we uh, we all focus on 3 to the power of 11 and we write 3 to the power of 11 as 3 to the power of 5 plus 5 plus 1 and when we can apply the exponent law and then we break all of these exponents and we write it as 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 and now here first we find the value of 3 to the power of 5 and you very well know about that the meaning of 3 to the power of 5 is that we multiply this 3 on 5 times okay so you see here this is 3 times of 3 becomes here 9 9 times of 3 becomes here 27 
27 times of 3 becomes 81 and 81 times of 3 is equals to 3 1s are 3 and 3 8s are 24. This means that 3 to the power of 5 is equals to 243 and we can put this value into the uh, above expression so that 3 to the power of 11 is equals to uh, we put this value first here so 3 to the power of 5 equals to 243 multiplied by 243 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 is equals to 3 and now here in the next step we multiply uh, these to bigger multi uh, these to bigger numbers without using the calculator and i hope so you like this method uh, so now uh, here uh, we first break this value as in this form this is 243 we write this term as 200 plus 40 and plus 3 and now first we multiply these terms and its resulting answer is multiplied by these three so here first we uh, uh, multiply this term each of these values and it will be written as 243 multiplied by 200 plus 243 multiplied by 40 plus 243 multiplied by 3 and its resulting answer is multiplied by these 3. So that now we multiply first these two uh, values and here we consider this is our first digit number and this is our three digit numbers and we multiply zero times of this number is equals to zero and this zero time of this number is equals to zero and two times of this number equals to two threes are six and two fours are eight and two twos are four and plus here uh, we multiply uh, these two numbers with this number and we will get here so uh, zero times of this number is equals to zero and four times of this number equals to four threes are twelve we write two and carry one four fours are sixteen sixteen plus one is seventeen we write seven and carry one four twos are eight eight plus one is nine and plus here we multiply 3 with this number and you get here 3 3 is a 9 and 3 4 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 1 becomes 7 now first we sum up these three values and at the last its resulting answer is multiplied by these three uh, so here uh, when we add these values it will be written as 0 plus 0 plus 9 is equals to 9 0 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 6 plus 7 becomes 13 13 plus 7 becomes 20 we write 0 and carry 2 and 8 plus 9 becomes here uh, 17 17 plus 2 becomes 19 we write 9 and carry 1 so this is 4 plus 1 becomes here 5 so you get here 59,049 and it is multiplied by 3 so uh, here uh, we multiply this number with uh, 3 so uh, 3 times of 9 becomes 27 we write 7 and carry 2 3 4 is a 12 12 plus 2 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 3 0 is a 0 0 plus 1 is 1 and 3 9 is a 27 we write 7 and carry 2 3 5 is a 15 15 plus 2 becomes here 17 so this means that the value of 3 to the power of 11 is equals to 17, 177,147. Now we can move forward, move backward and we can put these values here in this expression and we get here our final result. So uh, now we have this is 3 to the power of 11 divided by 3 to the power of 11 minus 1 is equals to... Uh, we have one double seven one four seven is divided by one double seven one four seven and minus one so when we subtract this value uh, with minus one we will get here one double seven one four seven and it is divided by one double seven and one four six so here we break our uh, numerator term as one double seven one four six plus one and it is divided by 177146. So here when we break this fraction, so we get here our final uh, value in this form 177146 over 177146 plus 1 divided by 177 and 146. These two values are cancelled out by these two values and we obtain here a 1 plus uh, 
one over one double seven one four six so we write here our final answer into the mixed fraction form so it's mi mixed fraction is one whole one divided by one double seven and one four six so this is the our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos